Hello, I'm Reza from Red Acad and in this video I'm going to answer an important question. What is Power BI Dataflow? You've heard about Power BI Dataflow, you are using Power BI or you want to use Power BI, you have no idea what the Dataflow is, you've heard about that, you've heard that it can speed up your queries, you've heard that it can uh, give you a better Power BI architecture, you've heard that it helps in a lot of scenarios, so what is it? In this video I'm going to talk about that. I'm first going to talk about what is Dataflow in Power BI and uh, then I'm going to talk about what are the use cases for that. Before I talk about Power BI Dataflow, you have to consider that this is different from Azure Data Factory Dataflow because there's a Dataflow in that product as well. Or if you hear about Dataflow in other products, they might be different. Power BI Dataflow uh, is the one that I'm going to talk about in this uh, video. So uh, in a Power BI uh, world, we have Power Query and Power Query feeds data into our um, data sets in Power BI. Uh, Dataflow, the definition of that is a Power Query process that runs in the cloud independent from Power BI repo. If you have used Power BI before, you know that um, every Power BI report, every PBIX, as long as you import the data, it uses Power Query. And when you publish that um, a report or data set into the website, it is Power Query that you schedule it to run in the cloud. So running Power Query in the cloud, it's nothing new. It's already there. It has been there from the beginning of having Power BI. Uh, the main part of that, which is important, is that Dataflow makes it independent from a Power BI report or independent from a Power BI dataset. Uh, in a normal Power BI file, when you run Power Query, the output would be loaded into the in-memory storage of Power BI. In this scenario, however, when we use Dataflow, it won't load that into the in-memory storage of Power BI, it would load it somewhere else. It would put it in an intermediate storage, in a different storage, which you might think, okay, what is that storage or where the data is stored of the data flow? At the moment, the data flow storage would be CSV files in Azure Data Lake storage. Um, there are some discussions that there might be uh, Azure Data Warehouse, some other uh, services, but those are still um, under discussion. Uh, the only storage that at the time of creating this video is available for you is Azure Data Lake storage for uh, Power BI data flows as the output, and it is stored as a CSV files. Now, when I talk about this, a lot of people ask that, okay, a lot of people say that, okay, I don't have Azure data, Azure subscription in my company, we are a small company, we don't have Azure subscription, so that means we cannot use Dataflow. No, uh, Power BI, when you create a Power BI account in the cloud, in the website, because Dataflow is a service only feature, you cannot have it in Power BI on-prem, you cannot have it in Power BI desktop. Um, when you use website, when you have a Power BI account in the website, even a Power BI Pro account, it has 10 gigabytes of space as the, um, as the um, Pro account, uh, let's say, uh, limitation of the space. That can include the Azure Data Lake internal usage of the data flow. So you don't really need to any extra licensing, you don't need to pay anything extra. If you have your own Azure Data Lake subscription, you can connect it to Dataflow and you can use it. But if you don't have it, that would be already included in your Power BI Pro or in Premium, whatever you are using. Uh, so what is the point? After storing those into uh, Dataflow storage, which is behind the scene Azure Data Lake storage, what happens? Then you will have a Power BI desktop, which you can use it to get data from Power BI data flows. Right. So instead of doing that transformation in Power BI Desktop, the transformation is already done. The output of that is stored in a CSV file. So you don't do that transformation again and again. All you do is in Power BI Desktop, you get data from that. Now you might think that, okay, what is the benefit of this? So this is the definition. Now, what is the benefit? So let's talk about some of the simple scenarios or sample scenarios that you can get benefits of the data flow. Uh, here is one of the most common scenarios that I strongly recommend using uh, data flow. When you have one query or let's say one table of Power BI used in multiple reports. Uh, a lot of us worked in such environment that we have more than one PBIX file let's say one PBIX file, one Power BI file for sales. 
It has sales table, it has in product table, customer table, things like that. And we have another table, another PBIX file, which is inventory, which has uh, warehouse information, inventory transactions, and in product information. Now, some of the tables might be available in both. Date is one of the two, one of the tables that you use almost in uh, ninety percent of BI systems, anyway. But apart from date, there are other there are other database tables as well. Like for example, uh, product in this example, customer might be in some other examples. So what you do when you have one table used in multiple sources? If you have built that table through Power Query, through multiple steps, 10 steps, 20 steps, then you go to Power Query, Advanced Editor, copy the script, go to the second file, paste it over there, and then you get the copy, right? But then your source code is spread across two different files. After a couple of weeks, you realize that you have also a third file, so you go and create another copy of that in there, right? And then if you make a change, in one of these, you have to make sure that you make the change also in the others as well, because they are not synchronized together, right? So your source code is spread across everywhere. Versus if you do that using Dataflow, you can run that Power Query transformation using Dataflow, um, which is load, building your date table, it might build your uh, product table, customer table, whatever. It loads it into that intermediate storage, which is in uh, Azure Data Lake, um, as a CSV file or things like that. Then in your Power BI files, you don't really do that transformation and again and again. All you do is just get data from that uh, stored data, right? The data transformation is already done. The data is stored there. You just get data from there. Whenever this changes, because those are referenced from here, they will also automatically change. It makes uh, developing your Power BI applications much more simpler when you use one table across multiple uh, PBIX files. If you use the table only in one PBIX file, if you have only one PBIX file and you don't really use tables anywhere else, you probably won't need Dataflow for this uh, scenario for that. But if you are using it in multiple files, this is a great example of using it. Now, is it only for that scenario? No, there are other scenarios as well. Let's say you have data sources with different uh, schedule refresh. Your transaction table, you get data in it every second, and you want this to be refreshing every hour, every four hours. Your product table probably doesn't change that much. You might want to refresh it every day. Your product mapping table, even less than uh, that, you want to refresh it every week. You can have data flows refreshing these at every, uh, let's say, different schedules because they are different data flows. At the moment, if you have everything in one Power BI desktop data set, all of that refresh at the same time. Um, another example of that for those um, people who don't have a data warehouse behind the scene, who don't have SQL Server loaded data into that SQL Server as a fact dimensions, as an intermediate storage, and they want to build something like that, they can actually use Dataflow to build that data warehouse structure. It would be in Azure Data Lake at the moment, a CSV file, but still it would be a data warehouse structure that you can use these tables in multiple data marts and use it perfectly well. Um, there are other scenarios. It can speed up your uh, Power Query transformation, um, uh, uh, refresh time of your Power Query transformation, because instead of doing all of those transformation in Power BI Desktop, now you do that in Power Query, you schedule it to refresh, then when it loads the data in the CSV file in Power BI, you just get data from the CSV file. So the Power BI side of it would be much faster. These are a few examples of how Power Query uh, can be helpful. What is Power Query? I'm going to create some other videos talking about how to create a data fl uh, flow. Uh, sorry, uh, we talked about data flow. How to create a data flow. Um, and then what are uh, ways that you can enhance your model uh, using data flow. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Um, we have weekly videos of Power BI and AI. Thank you.